After successfully completing this lesson, you will be familiar with the maintenance procedures for Auto Chief 4 and Safety System Unit 8810. Auto Chief 4 and Safety System Unit 8810 consist mostly of the same parts. The cable and plug connections are located at the rear of the unit. Check that the cables are properly connected to their corresponding terminal units and that the terminal modules are properly mounted in the console or cabinet. There are two types of processor cards. The 79110 is a 5 MHz card and the 79112 is an 8 MHz card. When installing or replacing a processor card, ensure that all the required program packages and the correct software version are fitted. The highlighted components must be fitted to the processor card. Mouse over the highlighted components to identify them. Double EEPROM in position UD5 contains the system parameters. These parameters are unique for each unit, so you should have a backup of this double E prom. The adapter cards are the signal input and output interface cards. There are different types of adapter cards for different types of signal. The motherboard contains 32 slots for adapter cards. The adapter cards, which can be of analog or digital type, and process either input or output signals, are placed in the 32 first I.O. channels in the input and output signal list. The use of adapter cards differs from safety system unit to safety system unit and from project to project. Please refer to the project documentation. If you look at the component side of an adapter card, you will see a number. For example, NN8322.
In the project documentation, you will see that this is an analog input adapter for 4 to 20 milliamp signals. The RPM detector card contains jumpers to accept the signal of the RPM pickup sensors in RPM System 1 and RPM System 2. If the card is changed, make sure all the jumpers are set in the correct position on the new card. The internal power supply runs on 24 volt DC and has the following outputs 5 volt DC, negative 15 volt DC, and positive 15 volt DC. The 5 volt DC can be adjusted with an adjustment screw on the internal power supply. The 15 volt DC cannot be adjusted, but must be within 14.55 volts and 15.45 volts. 5 volt is for the processor card, and 15 volt is for the adapter cards. The internal power failure card is mounted among the adapter cards. It is located in slot number 32 in the bridge and control room units and in slot number 24 in the safety system unit. The power failure monitoring card monitors the internal 5 volt and 15 volt as well as the 24 volt input power. The LED indicator labeled warning lights whenever an alarm condition occurs. How to calibrate the internal power failure card. Turn off the main power to let the system run on its battery voltage, which will be the lowest normal voltage. Measure the voltage at plug connection number X10. Verify that the voltage is not below 22 volt DC. Adjust the potentiometer counterclockwise until the front panel LED indicator illuminates. When the warning LED indicator illuminates, turn the potentiometer one turn clockwise. This sets the low voltage alarm level for the input voltage. Do not disconnect the plug labeled J7 since the 5 volt DC power supply must be measured and adjusted during normal load conditions. Connect the positive probe to pin 4 at plug J7 and the negative probe to pin 3 at plug J7.
the red coloured wire is 5 volt and the black coloured wire is 0 volt. Read the measurement. If it is necessary to adjust the 5 volt DC power, carefully turn the adjustment screw on the internal power supply unit. This adjustment screw can be accessed through an access hole on top of the rack. The 5 volt DC must be between 4.9 volts and 5.1 volts DC. To measure the positive 15 volt DC, connect the probes to the measurement points located near the power switch on the motherboard. To measure the negative 15 volts DC, connect the probes to the measurement points located near the power switch on the motherboard. If the reading is too high, that is more than 15.45 volts DC, replace the internal power supply or the motherboard. If the reading is too low, that is less than 14.55 volts DC, check for faults in the adapter card in the internal power supply or in the motherboard. The position and distance of the pickup sensor mounting in relation to the flywheel cog is very important. The distance between the pickup and the flywheel should be 2 mm. The RPM detector system can be checked by connecting a pulse simulator box to the RPM detector terminal labeled X33 and simulate the frequency. Check that the simulated RPM is obtained. Kongsberg Nor Control recommends the following maintenance routines. Click on the hypertext links to learn more. The general procedure for fault finding is to use the trouble analysis flowcharts enclosed with the manual. Another aid in a fault finding procedure is the wiring diagrams for your installation found in the project documentation. The troubleshooting process can be simplified into seven basic procedures, each of which is given a title relating to a major fault symptom.
Click on the hypertext links.